Hey folks, actuallythingsentry.com. So, happens to us once in a while. It's happened to me a couple of times a few years ago. Perforation. So here, what I've done is I've taken an eight round just for demonstration purposes. Of course, I'm going to see that. And go through using MTA quickly in placing and repairing this perforation. So normally, we'd have hemorrhage. So we'll take a paper point backwards and try to contain the hemorrhage. Placing MTA in, in uh, a hemorrhaging site is fairly difficult at best. So there you go. And that's just some red, wa red wax I placed in there. So we're You may have to place cotton pellet in here with pressure. It may continue hemorrhaging for a few minutes. And it's critical to get it stopped. It'll aid, it'll make your life much easier. So then we have our MTA in our map, in our little um, dappen dish. Place it into our carrier. And then go ahead and place it into that perforation. And then take a condenser and lightly condense that in. Let's try that again. And get more in there this time. Now, one of the things that if you're if you just started the endodontic therapy, well, that's normally where you perf, and you're orifices are still open, one of the things you can do is take paper points and place them into the canal orifices. That way you don't get MTA into the canals, making a painful morning even more painful. Because once it's set, if you in say you just say, okay, well, I determined that uh, pulpotomy is sufficient for now, I've repaired the perforation, let's come back for another appointment and then you have that MTA sitting there. Well, when that hardens, or if it goes down into the canals, ooh, painful. That has not happened to me, luckily. So again, placing paper points into places you don't want MTA to go is probably a helpful solution. And there's another good demonstration of not pulling back on the piston of the map carrier. I'm sure to get some of that off. Okay, now what you can do afterwards is take your ultrasonic take your ultrasonic instrumentation and lightly tap on a condenser in an effort to make sure that the MTA is connect is intimately condensed against the, the walls. Now I'd fill this a few more times in an effort to get this flush with the pulpal floor. So remember Placing MTA, make sure you cover up any of the places you don't want it to go. Make sure you've stopped all the hemorrhage you can. And you don't, years ago you, you, it was suggested that you go back 24 hours to make sure this is hard, but now if this is, if you're about to place a definitive restoration, you can place that. Cheers.